Hello and welcome, Jason Baker here from Integrum Retro. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to fix light gun games crashing in PlayStation 3 with the RPC S3 emulator. Now, unfortunately, I haven't made some videos in quite a while, and um, that's because, well, I uh, was on vacation, my game room, my basement, which I've done all my videos on, um, and my arcade cabinet was completely flooded, completely ruined, and, and I lost a lot of great collectibles. But with every disaster, there's opportunity, so I'm taking the time to rebuild uh, the game room better than ever. It's going to be an amazing showcase, and I still continue to try to make some of the best um, plug-and-play light gun drives and emulation drives possible. But now many of us, we do put out uh, light gun drives, and most people have PlayStation 3 as an offering, and the common three games that are compatible with light guns. Now, the way to fix this is you launch up LaunchBox, go to PlayStation 3, just right-click and open the RPCS3 emulator. Once the emulator is open, what you want to do is click on File, All Titles, and Remove the Disk Cache. Now, you're doing this assuming you have a light gun only drive. This should be the only game. If you have other PlayStation 3 games, you may not want to do this. You may want to do this specifically for the game. Next, you want to click on File, Firmware, and Remove the Firmware Cache. Let's go ahead and um, boot this game now. We have to, That's the final requirement. And what we're doing with the light gun games is you'll see that a lot of us will jump right into the game because we're using a save state. It actually takes you a couple minutes to select through the menu, get through the calibration, and get to your game. And because we're using save states, it's storing custom information about our game. So you have to go through this process. So it customizes these PPU modules specifically to your graphics card. Now, good news is it only takes uh, one try. You only have to do this one time. Let it finish, and then your games will work. And here you go. From here, you would normally just pick your three games. But, you know, we, from launch box or big box, we like to use a save state. So go ahead and hit escape, which will minimize the window, and you can then exit out. Now, one other tip I'd like to recommend is going to the config section and go to your GPU and set the frame limit to 50. Uh, this will fix one of the issues with Time Crisis Raising Storm, where when you're shooting, um, it takes a couple clicks for your... Um, you're going to actually fire and uh, the, reducing this frame limit from auto to 50 will will fix that and then you'll feel a lot more natural now at this point uh, you can close out the emulator and play a game so let's go ahead and just play time crisis raising storm And now here you go. So you're dropped right into the game um, because, again, it just detects the first mouse. That's why these games are only one single player. So I can play with a mouse or any attached light gun. And that's really all you need to do. Now you can go ahead and play all three of the PlayStation 3 light gun games. Enjoy. Enjoy. 